welcome back. I am Suzanne Sukan, because if Sukan, you can too. Yeah, and this is the You Can with Suzanne show. And as I told you, that's me. So thank you so much for being here. I love having you every week. And so today, my little story has to do with music. And I love to order stuff on that cheap site Wish. So I got something that's an angel caller, and it makes a little bell sound. It's really cool. Um, and I got a whole bunch of them because I'm like obsessive with cheap <laughs> stuff. And so I have all these things. And But this one happened to come today. And I was just so happy. And I haven't been able to stop playing with it since I opened it um, maybe an hour ago. So driving along. And, I'm like, and it got me thinking of that Chuck Berry song. Like the thing on the string and it's his ding a -ling, and he goes swimming and the turtles start nipping and all that stuff. And it just made me laugh. But then I also got to thinking... You know, how awesome is music? And music just has such an important part like in everybody's life. If, like, if you don't even realize it, what's on around you? And what kind of sounds are surrounding you? And what the heck are you listening to? And what's going on when you're not paying attention? What's subliminally going on? When you walk into a store and they have certain music that I heard on uh, some radio show I had on that some... I think, oh, I think it was like a Walmart store or, or somewhere where there's a high amount of thievery. And they had on um, like orchestra music, like uh, classic, you know, like the tubas and all that stuff. And that the rate of um, theft had gone down. Uh, so it's, in, it's, it's important to pay attention to the sounds that are in your environment. And you should. Um, Check out some new music and different things out there to uh, stimulate your brain. That's not really much of a story. But, <laughs> but music is super mega important. And it does calm the savage beast. And it sure gave me something fun to play with today. So I just wanted to share also that, hey, I got something else cool that happened on Saturday. I got my certification in Reiki. So it's like universal healing power. Woo! So that's super cool. If you'd like to get a Reiki session, session with me, you can go to my website at SuzanneSukan.com and see all the super mega awesome, amazing other things that I do. But today, I have a full band in here. It's the first time. I'm spitting all over the place. I'm so excited. And I'm salivating here. I'm so excited. So we have the Chris Squire Band in the studio, all of them, and all of their shenanigans have been like beating the studio up and breaking stuff, and they've just been terrible. So, so here they are. Just, just and all of their rambunctious shenanigans. Speaking of cheap things you can buy. Hi, everybody. We're the Chris Squire Band. I just found them on the street. I know all that classical music. I found them on the They were on the cup. I said, hey, you want to be on TV? <laughs> That's great. That's how started <laughs> Thank you for having us, Suzanne. This is fantastic. We really appreciate it. And hi, everybody out there. This is, uh, this is really cool. We really appreciate you. Uh, not calling the uh, um, officers on us so far. That's good. So yeah, but well, we've only just started. Totally. We've only just started. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. That is absolutely right. The Chris has been on um, my exposure concert ever since the beginning of time in 2010, <laughs> the very first one, right? That's right. Back mm -hmm. at um, Club Paradise in Hamburg, and ever since then, every year. Uh, with the exception of one, I think just last year he mm -hmm. missed. He's been there every single year, donating, donating his time towards um, the free concert for domestic violence awareness. So I super much appreciate that. And That's oh our gosh, pleasure. I have my radio show on. That's you were right. on that, and That's I really right. love that song, Ophelia. Still, and uh, yeah. So. And you got really pretty green eyes, too. Oh, I got a soft spot much. for green eyes. They're on rental, actually. Yeah, I those, are those are the contracts. Show, but, but thank you, though. <laughs> well, wonderful. So, yeah, you're an awesome musician, and, and it's my honor to have you here. I'm happy that you've, you know, been a part of my life and my my career. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, you know, the feeling's mutual. We always appreciate the opportunity to play the Exposure concert. I, I think it's a huge, huge um uh, uh, benefit in the area. Uh, it's amazing not only that it, you know, it raises so much awareness uh, for domestic violence causes and things like that and showing people out there that 
there is there is a way for there is help and and all these great things but it brings so many bands together you know and it's funny too we were talking about this at one point where because uh, all the musicians you know we we do the weekend warrior thing and all this other so we don't have a lot of time to catch each other's acts and all mm -hmm. that stuff and and your your event brings us all together and it's really great because i remember i can tell you almost every year i was there probably every year i was there that I always caught up with somebody I haven't seen in a long time. We always shot the breeze and saw what everybody was doing, and yeah, I'll steal somebody's guitar riffs out there, something <laughs> like that. Oh, what did I? Oh, I said that. Oh well, my. Oh well, I'm breaking the mic here and everything. It's crazy. It is. Anyway, it's a great, it's a great event. So well, we can't thank have nice you. Things. Thank you. Would you like to introduce the band, or should we allow them to introduce themselves? You know what? I'm gonna. They're they're growing up now. I'm so proud. And of them. we have Mike. So. Uh, hey, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Steve, have you Chris, met Ian? I have not. No. 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 You guys. No. What? Not? Are you a bass what? They're new. No. They gave me one in the parking lot. I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think maybe I'll manage it for the yes, moment. Yes. Probably not a bad uh, idea. Our bassist at the end there is Ian Hanneman, and our guitar player and backing vocals and various other instruments, Larry Smith. And our drummer and backing vocals, Mr. Steve Bell. Thank you very much. You don't look like a drummer to me. <laughs> what do I look like? I don't know. He doesn't really sound like one either. He looks like he's a front man is what he looks like. Is what he should. Is that going to be an interesting story now? What <laughs> do, do I look like? <laughs> I don't look like a drummer. Wow. Okay. <laughs> No, Perhaps I should be ringing somebody's ding a ling or something. <laughs> I don't know what, is. what is this? Maybe not. In fact, after the show, <laughs> it's tough on the road. I mean, yes. no, anyway, what am I talking about? <laughs> All righty. So great. So where should we begin? What do you want to share? Well, I'll tell you. It's been a it, it's been a busy year for us. Um, our big thing right now is that um, at, at long last, uh, <laughs> we we've got some recordings out, and um, we have a new EP, uh, five song EP called "Here's to the Losers," and um, there's actually a story around that song I can tell in a minute. But um, we are going to be uh, hanging out at uh, Sportsman's for an EP release show, uh, August twenty fifth, Friday, August twenty fifth at nine thirty. And for five bucks, everybody gets a copy of the EP as they come. A hard out. copy? Hard copy. Yeah. <laughs> Till we run out, but we've ordered for plenty. Bucks. For five bucks. I like that. Yeah. So uh, we're very much looking forward to it. And we're hoping everybody can come out. We guarantee it'll be a great time. It's a great venue. And um, we're really looking very forward good to that. Yeah. Sports meets venue. rocks. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty hip, man. I mean, uh, it, if, if you haven't been, if nothing else, you got to see this place. They hollowed out a row house and built a balcony around there and a stage, and it's it's something. So, uh, um, you know, we're really excited that uh, they're letting us in the door, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna give it a great show. So very nice, very nice. What number um, album was this for you guys? Uh, with this band, this is the first release we've ever done as the Chris Squire band. Um, my what? ego, yeah, my ego wouldn't uh, permit otherwise for uh. my previous. <laughs> no, we've always uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> It's terrible. Remember these, those these days? singers are ridiculous. Um, it, it was always um, uh, we we kind of got musicians together when it was time to record, but uh, these guys were kind enough to sign on and stick with me, and so it. Uh, it's it a really shame you won't a, let a us band, on stage. Band, yeah. So wow. what's that? It's a shame you won't let us come to Sportsman's. Oh, one of these. It's days. just himself, and yeah. I think a machine <laughs> or something. I'm I'm talking to the about drummer. That. And the drummer. <laughs> and the drummer. <laughs> he doesn't look like a drummer. So. <laughs> Have you met him? Have, we're going to go. No, we're going to oh, go. Oh, we're going to go? I don't you think you should go. go. I'm going to hear words go. about that. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, we get a, get a copy of the record? Hey, it, 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 you do. Then I'll give you what six dollars. What day of the week is that on? It's a Friday, it's actually. Oh, nice. It's like next Friday. We'll be doing, we'll be doing a, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Friday, August 25th, we'll be doing a, a regular two-hour show, so it's not going like four in the morning or anything because we're getting older now. And right, that, yeah. That just hurts. So, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's going to be a great time. So. Good. Have you always been in music, like, since you were a little kid? Uh, you know, I started out when I was, uh, well, I, I started out playing when I was 13, but um, I got into music really early because um, my, my dad was a music aficionado, and he had... Wait, the, what's that mean? That's a big word. He li he liked music stuff. Okay. So wait, yeah. so does that mean I'm one too? You are. All yeah. right. And so um, it, some some, some of us may remember, <laughs> although there we go. <laughs> uh, uh, some of us may remember uh, albums, right? Records, and now they're like a thing again, right? But um, 
Uh, my dad used to have this monster record collection and it had everything great. It had like everything from uh, Black Sabbath right to Led Zeppelin and The Who and everything else. And, and so um, when I was acting up, he'd just give me a pair of headphones and put in a record on and I would just sit there and that listen to it. That was your punishment? No, that was, hey, he's going to go do something. And that was uh, sit there and I'd listen to music for as long as the record would last. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So there was that and that just kind of stuck with me. Wow. So yeah. so what was the first thing you did? Did you want to r sing or did you pick up a guitar? I started out as a bass player, actually. Mm -hmm. So that I, through opportunity, it was one of those things where um, I was a, I was the, the guy, like if you listen to Led Zeppelin, everybody was listening to John Bonner, Jimmy Page, Robert Plant. I was listening to John Paul Jones, the bass player. Like, what is he doing in between everybody else? Yeah. I want to do that. Right. And then, um, and then things, you know, we go, I went, uh, played for a number of years and then I started tinkering around, tinkering around with writing songs and it just kind of took off from there. And, and, you know, the whole songwriting thing for me, I was a real late bloomer. I didn't start till I was 28. And oh my gosh. Now I'm 175, but I hold together like oh, I'm 160. The yeah, you wear it well. Sure. Yeah, that's what the I hear. years have been so, kind. Yeah. A lot of preservatives. It's uh, <laughs> Pickled. I laminate myself. Yeah, like, <laughs> don't do that. That would, that would chafe, is what that would Okay, do. Mr. Drummer, what's your name again? Steve. Steve. Steve, okay. Steve the drummer. <laughs> now, what's your story, Steve? I don't know. I just started playing drums. I'm not even a drummer. I just, no. My story, I started playing a long, actually quite a long time ago. You probably can tell I'm not from this country. Some um, Chictawaga. But I came, uh, I was on tour with a band and met my wife and got married and decided to move to uh, the States and then came to Buffalo when our daughter was born and um, kind of stopped playing for a while and then caught up with it again and then hooked up with Chris and it's been great fun since. Wonderful, wonderful. But it's, so I've, I've been doing it for a long time. I mean, I'm old. Or <laughs> Old Earth. Hey, at least you're not laminating. No. He's not laminating. No. <laughs> Nor he's shaping, all, right? No. He's all natural. No. So he is, so. But, and uh, he's also a phenomenal songwriter in his own right, too. So. Well, that's for, oh. that's for another show. <laughs> you that's think you're getting a show, too? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, I'm not the drummer anymore, so maybe I could be a songwriter. There you go. I'm, I'm, I'm actually a songwriter. A multi-talented person. There you go. And yeah. where, where do you come from? Originally, a little town in England called Aldershot. Which is the home of the British Army. Call the shots? What? All the shots. All the shots. <laughs> which is the home yeah, of the British shot. Army. It's shot. about uh, yeah. 45 miles south of London. Okay, everyone knows London. Yes, everybody knows London, England. And uh, yeah, so that was about it. My father was from up north and my mother was from down south. And But don't even know why I said that. What's some of your influences? <laughs> I didn't even know that, by the way. So Everybody, every, you know what? Yeah. Every everything is an influence for me. There's, I was very big into '80s music, big sounds, late, yes, big productions, lots of strings, guitars, all kinds of stuff, and that's really what my brothers were into. So you you become a product of your own environment. So my brothers were very much into the prog rock stuff, and then once you grow older, you become more in tune to actual music itself mm -hmm. and actually what's involved in making music and not just one type of music which limits you to you know being really narrow-minded when it comes to music if you can just open your open your eyes and open your ears to everything that is is around especially classical music mm. classical i love classical music purely because of the fact i have no idea what is going on in classical music it's because i can't play anything mm. to do with classical music so therefore i can listen to it as a complete outsider and yeah. listen to it. whereas if i'm listening to rock music it's uh, what's the bass player doing what's the drummer doing mm -hmm. what's the guitarist doing that's a great vocal sound blah 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 with classical music and it's 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 an interesting way of looking at things and i i, I like to try and do that with all styles of music it cut down on your shoplifting quite a bit it too. did yes <laughs> <laughs> Although I don't shop at Kmart anymore. That, that, <laughs> might, have some, that might have something to do. That's a good point. That might have some, it all <laughs> comes together in the end. See? All right. It's, it's a good job they don't sell violins. <laughs> what? <laughs> Kmart. Don't sell violins. Oh, they don't? Because they will be stealing them. Oh, I'm okay. going back to the story. Were you listening to her story at the beginning? <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> the big takeaway was tubas. God's sake. Tubas. <laughs> tubas. Yes. Remember? Yes. I don't know. I, I, I agree, though. I like the sentiment, too. Okay. We have Steve the drummer. Larry, right? Ian. 
Or no, Larry. <laughs> um, Bassist. No. No. Yeah. No. He Darn. Is. Well, he is. Here, why don't but, you just talk? Yeah. Okay. So that's Larry. He's playing guitar in this band, but Thanks. he plays a few instruments. So there we go. And what cut, else do you play? Um, okay. Dingling? Yes, actually. <laughs> I have a collection of bells at home, orchestral bells. Uh, I used to actually play in a choir, uh, or behind a choir, for a short period of time. And uh, before that, I washed dishes. And after that, I'm not sure. You're here now. I'm here now. <laughs> and the rest is to be seen. I hope so. Thank you for joining about, us today. What about the alien abduction? It? <laughs> <laughs> it was in the tuba. It was exactly. Uh, it's a stowaway, mm. don't you know? Oh, my. <clears throat> okay, so you're not Steve, no. and you are. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I'm Ian, actually. That's Ian, it. okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's also not. And you're the player. bass player. And he's the bass player. He is the bass player. Okay. I am? Yes. Today, now, the it's session? Right now. Oh, don't right. worry about it. Yeah, yeah uh, apparently, yes, I am the bass player. <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you been with these guys? Uh, We're not well, really together. No, I mean, not you together. Know, together I mean, um, in this band, in this in lineup. This band, it, well, I've been in various formations of the Chris Squire band. Yeah. I think I've been in like two or three. The Chris Squire conglomerate, the Chris Squire project. I was Squire in the Lowman, project. I was in the yeah. Squire Squire Initiative. Initiative. So you yeah. know this guy. The Chris Squire, yeah. Alan Parsons project. <laughs> project. <laughs> I love Alan Parsons. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Alan Parsons, now I've got trademark cool issues. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. About three or four years. Yeah. I've been playing since, uh, I don't know, in the 80s. Bass, uh, bass? Mostly, yeah. I started on guitar. Mo pretty much take Chris's story and flip it around backwards. Um, he started on bass, I started on guitar, and then the people I was playing with, everybody else played guitar, and it was like, well, if I want to play, I guess I'll play bass. And I actually <laughs> took to it and truly enjoy it, and you know, a lot of what I listened to early on. That's how Paul McCartney popped. got started? Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much, except mm -hmm. nobody yep. died yep. to yep. give me the bass. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> That McCartney guy, he's going to go somewhere. I know he is. <laughs> I think he's going to make it one I of these yeah. days. I think he's got well, potential. Luckily, if he works hard. He's as long as Kanye stays behind. Yeah, that's true. Great, great. So um, I'm always excited, but I'm even more excited because you, this is the first time that we're going to have a live band performing on my show. So what is it that you're going to be performing for us? So the song, we're going to play the title track from the EP called Here's to the Losers. And uh, this song was written about, um, you know, you, go, you get um, the blues sometimes, you know, feel like you don't fit in. And I thought, well, instead of writing a whiny songwriter song about it, let's write an anthem to that, right? I think, I think a lot of people can relate to, you know, feeling like you're kind of a couple minutes behind the rest of the world. Or maybe it's just me. But anyway, it's definitely one of those anthem rock kind of tunes, and uh, we're very excited to play it. So. Sweet, sweet. Okay, so we're going to... Let you guys do your thing, and then we'll come back for a couple minutes after, okay? Outstanding. Awesome. All right. For the first time, you're going to hear <laughs> Chris Squire Band full band on the You Can Show. Yes, you can. <laughs> windows to our ragged souls I wonder what leads we find Angels could be leaves on razor hard strings leave us all behind Raise it to Oh, 
in our hearts Like brilliant false stars Beautiful and paper Time. It you happens. Heard us. Yeah, 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 yeah. It happens. Now you've heard us, and now we can mess things up, so we'll be all right. So, you guys have a website? How can, what if they want to hear more? Sure, absolutely. So, uh, c- come to uh, chrissquire.com, S Q U I E R.com. Oh, yeah. It's a little funky there. I can tell you the story about how that all switched up one day. Um, and then, um, you know, come out August 25th to the Sportsman's, um, and uh, $5 gets you a copy of the EP. The song you just heard is on there, and um, we'd love to come and meet you. So, uh, you know, hanging around after the show, we'll we'll uh, we'll talk a little bit, uh, shoot the breeze, what have you, and uh, you know, we appreciate house. your support, this show support, oh, and uh, yeah. your support out there. So that's awesome. That's awesome. I'm so excited. So yeah, um, Chris Squire Band. I can say that. Make sure you visit them online. You got a Facebook page. You got a Facebook band page too. Yes. Yep. Yep. Facebook.com slash Chris Squire Band. And is the stuff? Can somebody buy that? Like and download it? Yes. To do that too. Yes. You can buy it through um, the usual iTunes or Amazon Music, uh, or you can buy it directly from our website. Because that's the way things are going now. Everything's like digital. It is. It is. You know, it's. And it really uh, has goods and bads to it. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, we talk about this a lot. In fact, we had a great conversation about this because, you know, it's uh, so much of it is online. But, man, I'll tell you, it's it's tough to replicate that feeling of like when you're at a good live show. And that's oh, what we, nothing we were, beats live music. Yeah. When you feel that thunder, uh, it's uh, it's really pretty hip. So, you know, we try and get that wherever we go. And if we don't get that at our shows, at least you'll be mildly entertained by our antics on stage. So. <laughs> and all up until we went live, they like would not shut up. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> poking in the eyes and knocking each other over. I, and now they're like on their best behavior. They're well, not we're even tired like, now. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 from playing yeah. so hard. I earned this great Phew, people. I'm yeah, exhausted. Oh, oh, wow. I'm exhausted oh. from playing. Oh. So Western New York has. A fantastic <laughs> live music scene. These guys are part of it. Uh, and just get out and see some live music. We were talking about environment in the beginning of the show. Get out and see some live music. You know, cover charges aren't even that much. You can go to this show for five bucks. See what the heck's going on. Try some new venues, some new bands. Try some different styles. You know, don't get stuck and pigeonholed in the same genre as steve the drummer was saying 
<laughs> At last, I said yeah. something smart. Go, 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 there you go. Go out from being and, a drummer. Know, test the waters. See what else is out there. You might be surprised <laughs> that you like some alternative things that, that you weren't aware of before. So, you know, get out there, check out some live music, and you won't be sorry. So that's all the time that we have today. Plus, you might see her out at the shows. You yes. just may. Yeah. Just maybe. So I am Suzanne Sukan. <laughs> I'll give you an autograph. Can I have your autograph? Yes, yeah. you can. Yeah, yeah. see? Because that's I'm the nice way you yeah. I like that. That's the now way we're works. ready. Yes. Now we're ready. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, would you like to be a guest at my show? You could send me an email at hello at SuzanneSucan.com and check out all the wonderful, amazing, super mega awesome, fun stuff that I do. I would love for you to be a part of it, and I welcome your feedback. Thank you so much for joining us, and I hope to see you here again next week. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>